I am uh, Federico. I'm the UX designer of the Moodle community team. I'm going to give the updates of uh, Moodle Academy. So in the Moodle Academy during this uh, spring, we have been uh, evolving the idea of the upcoming events uh, filtering functionality. Because in, in the last spring, we were uh, talking about a really uh, a draft of an idea. But we have been um, evolving this idea in and this spring. We were focusing also in the calendar page because a lot of events uh, are coming to uh, Moodle Academy. We wanted to um, be able uh, to give the possibility to the user to filter uh, all the events that have in the in the screen uh, by uh, from the course hosted by uh, language and learning pathway. So they have these four kind of filters, and when they close um, the filter um, the filter uh, window. It appears uh, the amount of filters that has been applied and also a clear all button um, for the user. Uh, next slide, please. Also in the functionality, uh, in the in the other kind of filtering, we have the the format of how the user sees the uh, sees these events, and we wanted also to give the user a possibility of um, of filter the events by past events. So now uh, the ability for the user to um, to see, for example, the recordings or webinars that already the that already passed. And we want to change the structure of the event card. So when uh, when an event is passed, uh, we can show like uh, links for the recordings and uh, relevant information for the user. Uh, we have the Figma link and the tracker ticket. Uh, next slide, please. And also uh, regarding like the calendar page, we want to change the structure of uh, how an element is shown. Um, so we are kind of clearing a bit uh, because when we have different uh, events in the same page, uh, it's a lot of a scroll. So it seems like a lot of information on the page. So we decided to um, clear uh, some clear some of the structure instead of the card element. Uh, so we have like not the whole description, but the user can uh, can um, show all the description and hide it. And also the hierarchy of the information. We wanted to make it a bit more clear. So we uh, create a different structure for the metadata for the element and also the buttons. So are more uh, consistent across all the uh, Moodle Academy website. Uh, and overall, we also were working um, with uh, with uh, more improvements when the with the Moodle um, 4.0, like uh, a lot of tickets uh, solving uh, small issues, and that has been for this spring to Moodle Academy. Uh, so quick demo, um, if AI is online, she'll probably uh, take over and explain what the UI changes um, have happened and I'll just take over after. Thank you for that, Ordi. Hello, everyone. I, I'm Aya, a developer in the community team, and I will share my screen to quickly take you through a demo of what has been done this sprint. So let me share my screen quickly. Hopefully you can all see it now. No. Yeah. No. Yes. One second. Yes. yes. Maybe now. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so um, the major issue of this sprint was oh. uh, an issue reported in the forums. I will just play this video quickly. Uh, the forum. It has been reported that the forums list, the discussion list, was overflowing the width of the phone, and basically performing uh, strangely on mobile screens. So uh, this has been solved as an MDL issue and a solution has been proposed there. It's currently working uh, on our model.org and waiting to be tested to integrate it, uh, to be integrated in the LMS. So it's currently uh, it's currently fixed in the model.org site. You can see it's uh, performing well in different uh, screen sizes. It's not overflowing as it, uh, it's, uh, it used to be in the issue reported. So yeah, this is this was uh, the first issue, and then sorry about that. Just yeah, and uh, the other thing that uh, was on this print is the logo update. We now have the updated uh, logo with the TM, the trademark uh, note there in all of our uh, .org sites. So the Lang site, uh, Stats site, also downloads and uh, Jira. Um, and uh, another change that was made in the Get Involved page in Moodle.org, we have amended the sections a little bit. So we removed some of the uh, duplicated links and we amended the section. So it includes uh, visible and uh, easy to access links for the user. We have added a documentation link and the Moodle user association link, which takes you to pages that explain uh, what exactly uh, you need to do for these, um, for these elements. Um, another uh, UI changes, small UI changes, was uh, 
removal of confusing elements of information on cards. So the events in the in the homepage of Moodle.org, it was showing a button um, or uh, an information here that was saying event. It was it was not visible on what exactly to do. So this has been removed. And uh, another thing was uh, a solution for the hyperlinks. Uh, for Moodle.org, we have we had some complaints about the the links in the forums not being really visible. So we introduced a solution that it, it's now underlined and it's working fine in the Moodle.org. We've also uh, updated the logo for the Moodle User Association. You can see it here. Yeah. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Over to you, Early. Thank you, Aya. That's great. Uh, I think we can go back to the slides. Mm, yeah. Um, so a lot of changes in terms of UI, all based on on feedback we've had from um, um, the the launch on the thirty first of October. Um, um, the other things that have progressed, um, we we mentioned the the plugins directly um, um, uh, kind of project and discovery phase earlier. So we've had those uh, stakeholder workshops to enable us to plan for the next increments improvements. So the, the next few weeks will be uh, concentrated around the, the results findings and, and planning around that. We've also had um, uh, other fixes, and these are just a few. There are other things. There was something that's not in here about improving the security form, for example. Some support tickets happened as well, ensuring that media wiki doesn't uh, perform requests to external resources. Um, that's something that's been um, uh, reported uh, internally and, and fixed. Um, I've mentioned the MUA uh, interviews and, and presenting to the working group uh, when I talked about the goals and also the Lang and SATS um, Moodle, uh, the org sites have been updated to 4.1. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. Next. Oops, um, just click back in. Uh, some of the um, fun things, I guess, uh, support and engagement, what, what, what the community is about, really. Uh, so we've had uh, the badges awarded for the QA testers. Uh, early bird challenge finished uh, just at the start of the last print. Uh, we had a total of 248 plugins receiving an early bird 4.1 awards. Um, that's about 228 of them were actual um, plugins that were in the database that were uh, fully reviewed. Um, the blog about the 2000 plugins, which we well surpassed since, um, um, has been published as well with marketing. And we've launched a small competition, Share Your Moodle Love. So if you know anybody who's got really nice courses that they want to share, now schools designer Moodle, uh, 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 link them to our uh, competition and the competition center, which is now live on Moodle.org. And we'll be trying to run some competitions to engage users as, as we go as well. So um, that's it.